This week, I'm going to show you how to make a remote tripwire alarm. A tripwire alarm is one of the most basic kinds of security system. You run a wire across a walkway, and when someone steps through it, it sets off an alarm. The only difference is that in this design, I added a small radio transmitter so that you can activate the alarm remotely. Here's how to build one. The first thing that you need to do is select a transmitter and receiver. I decided to use a wireless doorbell, but other kinds of remote controls can also work. For this design, you need to make a few modifications to the transmitter. Start by removing the housing and locating the main switch. Then solder a small piece of wire to the terminals on each side. These wires will let you add an external switch that can activate the transmitter when the trip wire is pulled. I just made a simple switch from a clothespin and a pair of machine screws. To make one, drill a hole through both wood pieces and insert the screws. Then secure each one in place by tightening a nut on the back side. You can now attach the wires by wrapping them around the screws and tightening a second nut on top. When the two machine screws touch, it completes the circuit and activates the transmitter. Now you need to set up the tripwire. When choosing a location, try to find a place where traffic is restricted to a narrow path. Also, look for good places to mount the tripwire on each side that are about one foot off the ground. For the tripwire itself, I used fishing line because it's strong and hard to see. First, cut a short piece of line that will support the transmitter. Tie one end to something on one side of the path, and then tie the other end to the clothespin. To make this easier, I drilled another small hole on the back side of the clothespin. Then cut a second piece of wire that's long enough to go across the pathway. Tie one end to something on the opposite side of the path, and then take the free end and insert it between the screws on the clothespin switch. If the fishing line that you're using is too thin to keep the screws separated, then you can add a small piece of plastic to the end of the line. Once your tripwire is in place, your alarm is ready to use. When someone crosses the tripwire, it will pull the line out from between the screws of the clothespin switch. This will connect the terminals of the button on the transmitter, and it will send a signal to the receiver. The receiver will then play its tone to alert you that there's an intruder. If you don't want the receiver to play the standard doorbell ringtone, then there are a few ways that you can modify it. One option is to simply change the ringtone by wiring up a sound module that will play a different sound. Another option is to replace the tone with a visual indicator such as a light. To do this, just disconnect the speaker and replace it with an LED and a resistor. Be sure to wire up the LED in the correct polarity. If you want to have multiple tripwires with separate transmitters and receivers, then you need to set their encoder pins so that they don't interfere with each other. Now you're ready to protect your secret hideout with tripwire alarms. Try it out and have fun. Thanks for watching, and check back next week for more DIY hacks and how-tos.